I'm actually going to record this as an alternate, quicker method of graphing inequalities. All right, check this out. Um, if it's in y equals mx plus b, it's ready to go. And we do know that the m value is 2, and you put it over 1. And you know that the b value is 4. That's where it crosses the y-axis. So this does cross at 4 right here. Now, from that point, I need to go according to the steepness of the slope, which means positive 2 over 1. So if you go positive 2, you're going to be off the graph. Over 1, you're going to be off the graph. But let's put a dot out here off the graph anyway, right there. And instead of continuing up 2 over 1, let's go backwards with the pattern. So let's go over 1, down 2, over 1, down 2, and put a dot right here, and here, and here. And you keep going over 1, down 2, until you get all the way across. And then you ask yourself, is this a solid line or a dotted line? This is dotted because it does not have a solid line underneath the inequality, so it cannot be a solid line. It's just dotted. So we all just put some dashed lines or some dots between the dots. Now, normally, I would say use 0, 0 to check and see where your answers are at. But here's a shortcut. And the shortcut is this. What symbol, like, it already has y by itself, right? <laughs> it already has y by itself. And y is, is up or down. That's what y is. It's running up and down. So what does this say right here? So it says y is less than. So on your y's, it has to be less than. Where is less than? Is it above or below? Below. below. So you're going to go below the red line. So that's what you're going to shade in. You're going to shade in below the red line. It's... It's a shortcut. Now, th what I originally said was for you to test 0, 0. So like I originally said, OK, put a dot at 0, 0 and see if it works. Now, what does that mean, see if it works? If you plug in 0 for y, it'll say 0 is less than. Plug in a 0 for x, it'll be 2 times 0 plus 4. And then you'd have 0 is less than 4. And that's true. 0 is less than 4. So this point, it really is an answer. That means that all your answers are down here. But instead of doing this work of plugging in 0, 0, you could simply think if y is by itself, you could say, OK, my function y is less than, less than is below, so you'd shade in the bottom. If it were greater than, you'd shade in above on top. Okay, So that's a shortcut to it. Okay, um, Let's look at the other one, and let's use the shortcut. Um, the other one crosses where? Uh, positive. positive 1. From that point, what's my slope? Up 1 over 1. There is no number in front of x, so it's up 1 over 1. And if I do go up 1 over 1, and I continue to go up 1 over 1, I end up with these dots. And if I use that pattern backwards, I'll go this way, doing my line completely across the whole xy plane that's shown right there. Now, is this going to be a solid line or a dotted line? Solid because it has a solid line. OK, so let's do that solid line across those dots. And then I need a shade. Now, instead of testing 0, 0, which you could do. Actually, that's a better way of really understanding your answers. But instead of testing 0, 0, what symbol do we have up here? Greater than. Greater than or equal to. Now, where's greater than? Above or below? Above. above. Greater than is above. So you shade in above. Now, if I would have tested 0, 0, I, I already know it's not going to work because my answers are on the other side. So let's, uh, do we understand that shortcut? No. Yeah. Yes, if, you yes. don't, if you don't, you could continue plugging in 0, 0. OK, so the question is, does this shortcut always work? I think it does. Actually, it does. But you need to know how to read your, <laughs> you need to know how to read your inequality. Let's uh, take a look at today's homework uh, to explain it with the shortcut. Here's the homework. I want to kind of go over the homework again. Um, with this new shortcut method of not testing 0, 0, but understanding your inequality and shading with that. So let's first uh, go back and maybe review um, how to graph. Like, we already know how to graph when you have y equals mx plus b. But what if you had something like x equals 3? How do you graph that? In case you forgot, you simply go to the x-axis, and you go to the value of 3, and you put a dot right there, and then you draw a vertical line right through that dot. And that's, that's how to graph x equals 3. Okay. 
Now, if you're thinking, why is that? Well, if you think what this equation says is that your x values have to be three, and if you were to just come up with a bunch of equations that had the x value of three, and the y value, since there is no y right there, y could be anything you want. So it really could be like a zero, negative one, positive two. And if you did go to the coordinate uh, three, zero, that would be a dot right there. If you went to the coordinate three, two would be a dot up here. If you went to the coordinate three, negative one, it'd be a dot right here. So it really does give you that vertical line. So x equals any number will be a vertical line crossing through the x-axis at that value. Are you with me? Yes. So if I said graph x equals negative 2, what's a, what kind of line is that going to be? Vertical, Vertical where at? Negative at negative 2 on the x. So it's going to be a, a, a line going up and down right through that value of x equals negative 2. Now likewise, if you had y equals negative 5, you could look at that one in slope intercept form where there is no slope, or you could just say, I need to go to my y axis, I need to go to negative five, I need to put a dot right there, and it's gonna be a flat line crossing that value of negative five on the y. So y equals a number will be a horizontal line, x equals a number will be a vertical line. x equals negative two, x equals positive three, y equals negative five, if somebody told me graph uh, y equals uh, 3, then I would go to positive 3 on the y, and I would graph the flat line going right through it. Are you with me? Okay, so that was like a little review. Um, let's go back to the homework over here. And number one, x is greater than negative 1, I'm going to draw a vertical line through the x-axis at the value what? Negative 1. So I put a dot right there at negative 1. I'm going to draw a vertical line. Now, it'd be a good idea to use different colored pens. If you look at this equation, x is greater than negative 1, is it going to be a solid line or a dotted line? Dotted. 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 So I'm going to put a dotted line running through vertically the x value of negative 1. Is everybody with me? Okay, now I also need to shade either the left side or the right side of this line. Now, the shortcut I just mentioned a couple of minutes ago, it was either above the line or below the line because we were looking at it from the Y perspective. The Y is up and down, but the X is left and right. Is it not? Yes. Okay, so since the X is left and right, let's think about this inequality. What does it say right there? Okay. Greater than. Greater than. Now, where... <coughs> Where are the greater values of x on the right side of that blue line? So the shortcut still applies right here. You're just going to have to shade in the right side of that blue dotted line. Now, you don't have to do the shortcut. You could go back and do what we did before, testing the point zero, 0. So like I said, if you test the point, let's say you tested this point zero, 0. Let me do it in a pencil instead of highlighter, test a point zero, zero. That means plug in a zero for X and a zero for Y. I already know it works because I shaded in that side. But if you plug in a zero for X, it's gonna say zero. A zero for Y, there is no Y. It's gonna say zero is greater than negative one. And we know that zero is greater than negative one. That's why this point does work. That's why you shade in everything on this side. But the shortcut is to just understand the inequality. Greater than is to the right less than is to the left. So this is greater than, so you shade in the right. What do you guys think of the shortcut? Awesome. Okay, now let's combine it with solving the system of inequality on this homework. Let's do the other one, the other equation in red. Now this other equation is also ready to graph. Is it gonna be a vertical line? Yes. No. no, it's gonna be a horizontal line. It's y and a number, y equals, y is less than or equal to negative three. So you go to the negative 3 on the y, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So you got to kind of ignore what you already did and put a dot at y and negative 3, and it's going to be a flat line right through it. But before you draw the line, is it going to be a solid line or a dotted line? Solid. solid. So you do that solid line right there. Right. And now you need to either shade in above the red line or below the red line. Now think about that. Above would mean greater, below would mean less, correct? Yes. 
So the shortcut, what is this symbol saying? Less than or equal. Less than, so you're going to shade in the below. below. So we're going to shade in the bottom part of this red line. Now, here is the fun part. Because the only thing that truly matters is this piece right here. The overlap piece, okay? So on solving systems of inequalities, the only thing that matters is your overlap piece. Now, let me ask you this. Is there anything that's red and blue right here? No. no. Is there anything that's red and blue down here? No. No, no not right here. It's just red. Anything that's red and blue over here? No. no, it's just blue. Anything that's red and blue down here? You're right. So right here is the overlap. So right here is where you have to actually really shade in even more that rectangle you see the 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 overlap piece is the answer nothing else matters if you flip your paper over you will see that they don't even show the other parts they just show this rectangle down here the overlap piece is the answer so it's really easy guys check it out let's do uh let's jump to number three and let's use a shortcut instead of testing zero zero um so on number three, it crosses at three, and then it goes up one over one. So it crosses at one, two, three, right here, and then it goes up one over one, up one over one. And we're going to use that pattern backwards, Alan, this way, all the way down till we get across the whole thing. And then we ask ourselves, is this a solid line or a dotted line? Dotted. Dotted. Because it does not have a solid line underneath the inequality. Now, we either shade in above this red dotted line or below this red dotted line. All you have to do is look at this for the shortcut. What does it say? Uh, greater than. Greater than, which means above or below? Above. Above. So you simply shade in above. Don't get crazy on the shading because the overlap is what really matters. That's why you want to get crazy with the overlap. Okay? So we did the top equation. We did that in red. Now let's do the bottom equation in blue. Now the bottom one's really easy. It's gonna be, is it gonna be a vertical line or a flat line? Horizontal, flat, right, horizontal. So it crosses the y-axis at negative one. We said it's gonna be flat, but is it gonna be a solid line or a, do, a dotted line? Solid, so here we go, solid. And now you either need to shade in above this blue line or below this blue line. If you look at the inequality, that says what? Less than. Less than, which means below. below. So we're going to shade in below the blue line. Now, nothing matters except a little triangle. Where is that little triangle? It's the overlap piece. So where is that overlap piece? This guy right here. Let me actually do it with the pen, sorry. This little triangle is the answer. And this little triangle is the only answer. You don't even need any of this other stuff over here. You just need this triangle that has a solid edge on this side and a dotted edge on this side and really shade it in right here. That's your answer. You guys got it? Okay, so the shortcut comes in handy. You don't have to do the extra math of testing the point zero, zero. Um, let's, let's do one more, then, then we'll... Circle it, sure. Um, that's why I say do lightly shade. And then on the overlap, you could do a dark shade. Um, so on the top equation, let's go in red. Top equation crosses at 2. From that point, my slope is what? Negative 1 over 1. Negative 1 over 1. Down 1 over 1. Down 1 over 1. Use that pattern backwards to get it to the other side. And is it going to be a solid line or dotted? Solid. Solid, so you do a solid line going right through those points. And then, do we shade in the bottom? You could test zero, zero if you want, but that's kind of a waste of time. You could do the bottom or you could do the top. Look at your symbol for the shortcut. What does it say? Greater than. What does greater than mean? Above. 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 Less than's below, greater than's above. So you're gonna shade in above. So you're gonna do, I'm doing this light shade with my highlighter on this app. You guys should do a light shade with your pencil. And then you ignore what you just did, and you graph the other one, hopefully in a different color, if you have a different color. Um, so this other one crosses at negative 2, 
And from that point, I go up to over one, up to over one, up to over one. And this is going to be a dotted line. And if I go backwards with that pattern, I'll get to this point. So let me just draw some dots between the dots. And now I either shade in the upper part or the lower part. Shortcut, look at your inequality. What does it say? The lower part, it's less than. So less than is below that blue line. So I'm going to shade in below. Now, what do you really want to shade? The overlap. So it's this piece right here. Whoops, let me go with the pen. This piece right here. You could get crazy on the overlap. And that's it. You see, it's easy.